Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For all the old subscribers, thank you very much for the love that you people have shown me. And if you are a new subscriber to you, you are also very welcome or acquired to you. Today we are going to make a katwa stew or egg wishy. You can have this with your plantain or yam or ebba. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also stay tuned. Recipe, we're going to need some green leaves. You can add any green leaves that you want to this recipe. We also have some um, tomatoes that we have washed and cut them into pieces, nicely washed and cut. We have our chicken breast here, nicely washed clean and cut them into pieces. I also have some fish here that I have washed and cut. These are mushrooms that has already been sliced and this is also some gizzard that I've already washed here. I have my onions that I've cut them into pieces and these are the spices that I'm going to use. This is curry powder or spices here. This is ginger powder, paprika and also I have my garlic spices here. I'm going to also use about two cups of Egushi. Yeah, these are nicely washed and I've soaked them already. I also have my palm oil around and I'm going to also use some hot pepper. These are very hot so you have to be careful of it. And this is a grated ginger and garlic and also salt to taste and I also have spring onions around to combine the gizzard and the chicken breast in one bowl and add the spices to it and just cook it on a low heat for about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes we add in our salt to it and our garlic and ginger that has been grated together and I'm going to add all the spices to it. I'm going to add about half a cup of water to it. I'm going to wash my spices bowl and add it to it. I also add some water to it and cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. As our meat is cooking, going to blend all our egushi nicely and smoothly. Um, remember not to add too much water to it because you don't want it too watery. Now we have washed our green leaves nicely and thoroughly. So we're going to cut them into pieces. And just keep it aside for the stew. And to check our meat, you can see that our meat is already done. So I'm just going to set it aside for it to cool. I'm going to start with our stew and you can see that the pan is already hot so I'm going to pour half of the palm oil to it and because it is already hot I'm going to add the meat to it and allow it to fry and I'm not going to fry it for too long.
okay as we are done with our meat we're going to add in our pepper and also the onions and allow it to fry until the onions are translucent See that our onions are done so we're going to add our tomatoes to it and cover it and allow it to cook for some time before we add our mushrooms and also the egg which is our tomatoes has been cooking for about two to three minutes now and i didn't want it to finish cooking completely because I'm going to add the mushroom to it. My mushroom has not been pre-boiled because I wanted to just add it to the stew and allow the heat to just cook it. In this way I can retain all the nutrients in the mushroom in my stew. So we're going to cover this and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes before we add the egushi to it. Our stew has been cooking nicely. You can smell the aroma here. <laughs> and it is beautiful and amazing. And I'm going to add the egushi to it. It has been blended nicely. I'm going to add everything to the stew and cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes on a very slow heat. Because if you cook this on a very high heat, you're going to have your stew get burnt. See how our egushi stew is coming on. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. And you can smell the aroma here. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. So now our egushi stew is done. So I'm going to add the stock from the meat to it that's why i haven't added any um spices again to my stew you can check and taste for the salt if you want more salt you can add to it but because i'm adding the stock of the meat to it i'm not going to add additional salt or spices to it and i'm going to add my leaves to it and at this point you add the leaves and you just cover it and allow the heat to slowly cook everything together just cover it and after you have just covered it just make sure your stove is on a very slow heat as you can see my leaves are also not pre-boiled because i always want to retain the nutrients of my food in the same pan so you know just cover everything and you just allow it to slowly cook and enjoy your meal and please as you're watching this know that there is always hope for us in Christ so please if you have any problem or anything like that seek God's guidance and everything will be okay mm -hmm. Mmm, this is magical. You can smell the aroma from afar. It is beautiful and you can see that um, everything has cooked really well and nicely. I allowed my stew to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes after adding the leaves to it. And now I've just added every um, meat the fish and the chicken and the gizzard to it i'm going to just allow it to be on fire on a very low heat for about two minutes and just serve my stew with my rice and everything thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and also subscribe and also whatever is your problem as i'm saying there's always a way out enjoy your meal in christ bye